Uh, Richard, welcome to Croatia. How did it happen that you've never been here before? <laughs> you were living not so far away, I guess. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I was always living very close. Yeah, I always find this uh, triangle around the <laughs> around Zagreb, but somehow I managed to to avoid it so far. Yeah, I don't know. Well, as you know, life always brings you to places. So now I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, so here we are now in Zagreb and uh, what, let's say, your expectations here in, for this event and in, in, in general in this Grand Chess Tour? Oh, I'm, I don't think I'm doing too well in this Grand Chess Tour, honestly. I didn't look at the standings, but like I had some solid performances, but I feel like solid is not good enough in Grand Chess Tour terms. So, um, yeah, again, if, I would, uh, if, it were, if it were to change here in Zagreb, I, it wouldn't hurt too much if, it, if I would have some really good performance. But as, as of expectation, I, I don't really have any, you know, spectacular expectations. Just trying to play chess and trying to, you know, save my or use my remaining uh, energy reserves and see what happens. Yeah. yeah, we were talking about you living in Serbia now and you are from Hungary. And now I think you live in Romania, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to play for the Romanian team. And what do you think uh, impact it had on your life and on your profession as a chess player to live in all these countries? Have you got something from each of this country or from each of this culture? Yes, and Croatia is next. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah, you know, um, OK, as a, I was obviously uh, um, I'm born and raised in Hungary, more or less. So, uh, my even my especially my chess culture, I think, is very much shaped uh, shaped by that. Um, yeah. Then obviously I moved to Serbia when I was kind of a young adult, and uh, so therefore my my development as a person, I think, is very much shaped uh, by, by Serbian culture and and and, and generally the, the life in Belgrade. I really enjoy it. I, I really like the atmosphere there. So I always recommend it for for people who tourists who are wondering where to, what to visit because, okay, it doesn't have such a reputation as a touristic destination, but I feel like the, the people are just so nice, it's, it compensates it, yeah, you know. And now Bucharest, yeah, Bucharest is a bit, uh, I'm, I'm still unfamiliar with it in a way because, okay, I'm very new there, I'm very new in Romania. Um, you know, obviously it was kind of um, a commitment uh, for, from my part and uh, I, I will see how it will work out. Um, I'm still adjusting, so yeah, that's, uh, that is unknown for now. Yeah. Yes, and um, um, well, of course everybody is wondering: Are you still in touch with uh, Ding Liren and when <laughs> what's happening with him after the match, and when we are going to see him again? Let's say, do you have any news from him? I have as much news as the next guy. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sometimes we're very right to each other, but he's generally a very close guy, and uh, I think he's he's you know. I hope he's doing what he, he likes to do, yeah, let's put it this way. Yeah, that's the most important, actually, to do what you like to do in your life. And actually, how do you find this balance between being a professional chess player and trying to do things which you really like to do and have healthy life, if possible? Yeah, I mean, being a professional chess player generally um, gives you this freedom, or illusion of freedom, to have, you know, uh, let's say a Monday morning, yeah, where everyone's at work and you just wake up whenever you want to wake up and do whatever you like to do, right? So it is generally, I think, suits uh, my expectations from life very well. Of course, when you go to a tournament it, and uh, it's totally different, like for instance, I'm here talking to you, right? So, <laughs> Not <but> sleeping. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, okay, it's kind of balances itself out, I guess, at the end. Um, yeah, so for me, it's uh, always been a bit of a challenge to, to balance it. Uh, I guess I've been playing uh, maybe a little bit too much for my standards in a row, and I'm already longing for, for a break and uh, some small vacation. but. Other than that, you know, it's more or less fine, yeah. Only five days to go of very exciting chess. I mean, I wish you all the best of luck and to still find some energy for fantastic games. You, you play always. We are looking forward for it. Thank you, Richard. Thanks so much.